we have seen how to write the equation of a line whose position on the coordinate plane is specified. We shall discover that it is equally easy to write the equation of a circle if the location of its center and the radius are known. First, however, we need to give an explicit definition of a circle. In this lesson, we will be discussing about the following. The definition of a circle and its general form. The equation of a circle. Reduction of the general form to the center radius form. The circle determined by three conditions. And tangents to a circle. A circle is the locus of a point that moves at a constant distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center, and the constant distance is the radius. The circle is one of the curves represented by an equation of second degree in the form ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. A circle is mostly conveniently represented in the general form ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero, letting our a is equal to c and b is equal to zero. An equation of the second degree in which your x squared and y squared have equal coefficient and the xy term is missing represents a circle. Exceptionally, a single point or no locus. It is easy to write the equation of a circle if the location of its center and the radius are known. In our discussion, we will tackle about the circle with the center at the origin and circle with the center at coordinates h, k. Circle with the center at coordinates h, k. Let the center of a circle be at the fixed point c with coordinates h and k and let the radius be equal to r. Then, if your point p with coordinates x and y is any point of the circle, the distance from c to p is equal to r. This condition requires that your r is equal to d, which is your d is the distance from c to p with an equation of square root of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Squaring both sides will give us this value. R squared is equal to quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared. Thus, the standard equation of a circle with center at h, k is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. This formula exhibits the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius and consequently is sometimes called the center radius form of the equation of a circle. Conversely, the graph of an equation of the form is a circle with center at h, k and radius equal to r. This fact is evident since the equation is satisfied by, and only by, points whose distance from h, k is r. Hence, it is an easy task to write the equation of a circle whose center and radius are known, or to draw the circle whose equation is expressed in the form. Let us try this example. Write the equation of the circle with center at 2, negative 3, and radius 5. Sketch the graph.
If the center of a circle is at the origin, that means our h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0, and the radius is still your r, thus giving us the distance of your point O to point P as equal to d or the radius of your circle, giving us the distance formula which is also equal to your radius, that is your square root of x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared, giving us r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, and squaring both sides yields an equation of r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Thus, the standard equation of a circle with center at the origin is simply equal to x squared plus y squared is equal to the square of its radius. Example number 2. Write the equation of the circle with center at the origin and radius 3. Sketch the graph. Example number 3. Write the equation of the circle with the points 2, 5, and 6, negative 1 as the endpoints of its diameter. Sketch the graph. Example number 4. Write the equation of the circle with center at the 1, 1 and touching the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. Sketch the graph.
reduction of the general form to center radius form. Our general form is given by this equation, ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. Conversely, an equation of the general form can be reduced to the center radius form by the simple expedient of completing the squares in the x term and the y term, giving us the center radius form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Let us take this one as an example. Find the center and radius of a circle represented by the equation 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. As you can observe, this is in the general form. We simply employ the completing the squares in the x term and the y term so that we will yield an answer in center radius form. Example number 2. Show that the circles x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 8y plus 11 equal to 0 are tangent to each other. Sketch the graph.
Example number 3. Find the points of intersection of the circle. x squared plus y squared minus 18x minus 4y plus 35 is equal to 0. And x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 6y minus 15 equal to 0. Sketch the graph. We have seen how to write the equation of a line from certain information that fixes the position of the line in the coordinate plane. We consider now a similar problem concerning the circle. Both the center radius form and the general form of the equation of a circle will be useful in this connection. There are innumerable geometric conditions that determine a circle. It will be recalled, for example, that a circle can be passed through three points that are not on a straight line. We take this one as an example. Find the equation of the circle through the points P1 with coordinates 1, 1, P2 with coordinates 2, negative 1, and point 3 with coordinates 2, 3.
Tangents to a circle Line tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. Let us take this as an example. Find the equation of the tangent line at negative 1, 4 on the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0.